The Safe Tots Eco Screw Fit Safety Gate comes in three colours, white, black and grey, and comes in a standard and an extra tall variation. Um, first thing to do is to get all of the items out of the box and check they're all um, the same as the parts listed in the instructions. Um, it's good to lay them out so you get an understanding of where everything will go. Also, there are some useful tools to help you complete the project of assembling the gate. Um, it's always good to have the, the uh, a measuring tape, you'll need two Phillips screwdrivers, um, some tape or blue tack to hold the template up is always useful and a spirit level to make sure that the uh, template is uh, exactly vertical as well. Following the assembly instructions, the first stage of uh, the process is to fit the two panels together. You take part B and you slot it over the gate panel and you'll see the hole there. Then you tighten that up using the nut and bolt provided. So we'll slot through into position, we'll put the nut in and we'll tighten by hand first of all and then we'll finish with a good tighten using the two Phillips screwdrivers. You repeat the process that we did at the top at the bottom then you'll slide the other panel in, lining up the holes and tighten these top and bottom using the remaining two screws and nuts. Now we've put the two panels together, we slot in the uh, side fittings. Now you'll see two hook sides, these will go on the same side and two what we'll call button sides, these will go on the same side. So all we do is we simply put it into position, screw it in by hand, doesn't need to go in all the way because we'll be doing the final adjustments later but it is useful to have them um, at equidistance from the frame so um, we screw in roughly the same distance with this one these curved pieces are going to form the hinge side of the gate and in the other side we're going to put in the two fittings here exactly the same process and these are going to form the opening side of the gate. The Eco Screw Fit gate comes with an optional one-way restrictor. This is especially useful for when the safety barrier is being used at the top of the stairs as the gate should always open towards the landing and be restricted from opening over the stairwell. The way the restrictor fits is the small plastic piece will be slotted into either the right or left side and as you can imagine when this is in position this will stop the gate opening that way but it will allow the gate to open towards us. The Eco Screw Fit Safety Gate comes with uh, convenient templates to help you mark where the fitting needs to go. The larger side are the opening side templates and the smaller side are the hinge side templates. Um, very useful thing to do is to use a spirit level to ensure you keep the template straight, we've done this already. Place into position opposite each other. And then what you're doing in the first instance is just marking the crosshairs where you're going to screw the fittings. In the four places on this side and the four places on the hinge side. Once that's done, you can take the templates away and screw the fittings into position two screws here, two screws here, and then the four screws on this side, and then your fittings will be in a position ready to install the gate. When all four fittings are screwed into position, um, the first thing we do is we put the hinge size fittings, slot them into the top and the bottom there, and let them just drop down. And then to lock them in position, we use the two caps now the caps just slot over the top and they'll click into position. One at the bottom with the top side there and one at the top. This prevents the gate from lifting out of the hinge. These can be removed when you want to remove the gate entirely. The final stage of the process is to get the fine adjustments on this side. You'll see here that we're slightly short on both sides. So using the Phillips screwdriver, we can release this out to get it to the desired length.
which will be there. We will then tighten the nut by hand and make the final adjustments with the spanner, just to tighten it up. There. And we'll repeat that process at the bottom. When we've tightened both the top and the bottom fittings into position, the gate is ready to use. To lock the gate, you simply raise, drop it over the clay cradle. And as you pop into position, you'll hear a small click. That means the gate is locked and cannot be opened. It's got a double locking mechanism, which will include pushing this bit down, raising the gate and opening it out. And your gate's ready to use.